Okay, the next video here is uh, we just did one on GM, so I figured we'd do one on Hemis. Uh, this video here is going to be how to uh, deal with oxygen oxygen sensor cycling. Uh, that's not the right word. Um, once you have long tube headers on, you might be getting codes for things like that for taking too long to heat up, delay, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's pretty close to the same versus the non-VVT right here in the VVT vehicle, okay? Main thing, obviously, you want to go through and you want to disable your downstream oxygen sensors. Most of you have no reason to have them. You want to do enable delay. So ECT must be above closed loop enable temp for this amount of time to enable closed loop fuel. Go ahead, 20%, okay? Same thing with alcohol, the rear sensors, you can do the same thing with the rear sensors. Most of you probably don't have rear sensors, but we'll do the exact same thing. We'll do the same thing, alcohol, see this car is zero, it doesn't matter. Um, this is the engine coolant temperature above which closed loop will be enabled. Um, you're going to want to have this a little bit higher, things like that. Essentially what we're doing is we are increasing the delay long enough that the oxygen sensors have enough time to reach their operating temperature to prevent throwing codes and to give you correct data. Now on GM vehicles, this is much easier because GM has more tables for that. Uh, with this, it's just a matter of playing with these, increasing delays uh, in order to get what you need. Let's see, I thought there was one more thing. FA threshold around stoic to enable closed loop. This is how close you have to be to stoic before you enable closed loop. Okay, you can change this as well. Now, I, I wouldn't change this until you've messed with this stuff and you've determined you want a little bit more time. Make this smaller, meaning you have to get closer to stoic before it'll go into closed loop. Now, if you keep getting codes, and no matter how much delay you add, you keep getting codes, you're going to want to remove the codes um, because they're just going to be an annoying light at this point. Um, you're going to end up doing the same thing on here as well. Okay. Um, now, there's a two, couple extra tables here. Okay. Um, you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to do, go to enable delay. You're going to want to add 20% on it to start off with. You're going to do it on your alcohol as well. Um, you want to do it on your on your rears. Uh, you're going to want to go through and disable the rear oxygen sensors either way, just to make sure that they're out of your way. Um, you are going to want to uh, bump your again your coolant temperature where before it's going to start reading up, going into closed loop. Um, you can do the exact same thing here, where you make a smaller threshold in order to in uh, reach closed loop and then you have transport delay this table sets the delay for airflow delay to the oxygen sensors for bank one um, you can go here and you can actually increase this a little bit uh, on these I would only go two to three percent at a time uh, because I'm not sure offhand if you need to go larger or, or smaller and I believe on this one you need to go to a larger number giving the oxygen sensor again more time to reach its operating temperature before um, it goes into closed loop mode. <laughs> now, unfortunately, you don't have the ability to change how fast it switches from side, from, you know, rich to lean, rich to lean, rich to lean. So all this is is a matter of changing thresholds and changing delays to try to lengthen the amount of time given for the oxygen sensors to reach temperature.